Tayo po muna lahat tumayo at uh, tayo po ay manalangin. <clears throat> Let's pray. Dakilang Ama, salamat Panginoon sa pagkakataon na ito na kami po ay inyong magamit. Kami po ay nagpapakumbaba sa inyo, O Diyos. We are just a your servant, Lord. As you have told us, you are, we are your unprofitable servant. We are your unworthy servant. We are just following, Lord, what you would like us to do, being our master. Thank you, Father, for this opportunity that we can extend our ministry outside our churches. And thank you for our families, for being part of this also, Lord, praying for us so that we uh, would be a great blessing to our country, the Philippines. Thank you for the Samaritan Purse, for this also an opportunity that we can serve together, Lord, together with the ministry partners and teams around the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Okay. Light, camera. Kayo magsabi. Light, camera. Action. Atita. Good morning, Pastor Francis. Ooh. Are we ready with our vision meeting? Yeah, of course. Well, wag natin kalimutan, meron tayong UPG MP na wow. dapat gawin. Wow. Wow. Okay? So I have re review yung ating uh, PM. Yes. At yun ang ating vision meeting. By the way, nagawa na ho natin yung ating pong agenda. Oo oh, nga, Pastor. Very good ka dyan. Oh, Sis Minette is coming! Yeah. Hi, Sis Minette! Minette. Oh, yes. This is our meeting to prepare our vision meeting for 1CV. Patingin naman ang budget. Ako, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Pastor, yeah. may budget ka na ba? Pastor! <laughs> Kasi okay yung lang yan. Mo, uh. From where to where, ilang kilometer ito kung gagamit ka ng sasakyan? O ilang kilometer? Mm -hmm. Siguro mga 3 kilometers po yan. Sa Madalas po ba? Saan ka pupunta? Oh. <laughs> ano ba ang sasakyan mo? Kasi masyadong malaki to. Iskyla ba? Ay, Iskyla. Wala ka ba? Sis, pangkatila mo sa'yo sa yung Superman ha? Ah, Iskyla. Sige. Okay, Sige, okay. Sister Minette, mamaya tulungan ko kami for budgeting uh, budget uh -huh. ng okay. ay vision meeting ha? Yes, Kuya Pastor. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Ate Minette. Thank you, Ate. At uh, thank you, Sister Minette. Mamaya balik ka when ano, Sister Jack and Brother Aldi will come. Hindi ka, Pastor? Kasali sila? Oo, oh, kaya lang malilate daw sila. Ah, Mga alas dos pa sila darating. Ah, okay. Sige, hintayin natin, Pastor. Pero pag-usapan po muna natin, Pastor, kung ano yung planning natin for vision meeting. Meron ka na palang planning worksheet, Pastor. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Ninaihanda ka na. Okay. Alam po. Eh, Pastor, ilang vision meetings tayo ngayon? Eh, since dalawa ang ating... Isang CV. Ah, isang CV lang ba tayo? Opo. Galing sa? Sa India. India. Mm -hmm. So, dalawa lang. So, mga 73 churches ang ating hahanapin. Mga 100. Sige. 100 ministry partnership. Okay. Okay, Pastor. So, dalawang vision meetings ang ating gagawin. So, sino po ang lead presenter? Ah, hindi rin na makakasama si Ate Minette. Di tayo nalang dalawa. Tayo <laughs> <laughs> na naman, Pastor. <laughs> Siyempre. O, oh, ikaw ang lead presenter kasi ikaw ang church mobilization okay. coordinator. Okay. Yes, okay. Ako lang ay kasama mo. Ayan. So, lagay natin dyan, Pastor mm. Francis, Sister Dampos. Ganun din po ba sa vision meeting too? Yep, dalawa. Oh, Yung PC, sige. pwede naman isama. PC, sige. Ay, pray. Kasi may budget din yun eh. Ah, uh, ako nga pala. Okay, sige. Yung PC natin, meron din siya sasakyan. Yep. Pwede na natin gamitin yun. Okay. Okay, Pastor. Ano pa meron tayong i-prepare, Pastor? Yung, yung checklist na natin, at the dumbbells sa akin. Naiayos ko na huyan at lahat. Okay na. Okay, meron na po ba tayong confirm... Ano yan? Confirm ito, 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 room ito, ito, ito. setup? Mas, mas mababasa mo yun dito. Oh, doon pala. Mas mababasa Check. pala dyan, Pastor. Confirm room setup. Check. Oh, Request tables and chairs. Mm -hmm. Secure tea, coffee, snacks, and gift incoming. Yan, nagwala. 
Wala tayo lang daw may po-provide ng church. Let's pray for that, Pastor. Yeah. Baka okay. magkaroon tayo na sponsor. Sige. Okay, may assigned sections na ba ang presenters? Meron na. Okay. At yung pong ating materials. May handa na po lahat. Ah, okay po. Na, na contact niyo, ba, niyo na ba si Brother Greg? Oo. Okay. Nag-okay na po ba si Brother mm -hmm. Greg ang ating mm -hmm. logistics? Actually, nandoon na. Pinadala niya na. Ah, sa church. okay. Yeah. So, ready na pala ready tayo, na. Pastor, no? Oh, so, at, we really, uh, we really have ang, to... Isang bagay na lang. Ano po, Pastor? Medyo, kung ako yung technical. Eh, paano yun, Pastor? Mas dala na lang ako ng sarili kong, ano, mayroon naman akong, ah, uh, kit. Para ma ikaw na lang. Yeah, ang portable, setup. microphone. Ako ah, na lang. Okay, okay. very good, Pastor. Okay. Talaga, maaasahan ka. So, okay. let's send our prayer request to Sister Jack. Para yes. masenda niya sa ating mga prayer warriors. Good. Okay po. Sige. Pastor, uh, pray muna tayo para pagdating nila Sister Jack at Sige, pray tayo. Okay. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. One. Ang doon. Okay. So mga kapatid, tayo pong lahat tumayo. At lagay tayo tayo lahat. Tayo po, tayo. Ah, stretch, stretch muna tayo. Sige. Punta kayo sa katabi. Ah, paki, pam, paki masahe. Okay, very good. Sige, masahe. Para sure. Okay, o kabila naman, kabila po naman. Okay. Sige. Tapos, sandali. Sandali, sandali. Tapos, ikot. Ikot. One, two, three! Magandang hapon po, mga ministry partners! Ako, okay, you may take your seat. Ako po si Pastor Francis. Uh, nais ko po na kayo ay i-welcome dito po sa ating Operation Christmas Child Vision Casting. Basahin nyo nga po. Okay, sorry. Operation Christmas Child Vision Meeting. Hmm. Kasi simula pa lang. Malit na kaagad. Yung mga tumawa, ah, alam nilang nagkamali. Marunong na sila. Amen? So I appreciate you for that. No, no, no. I'm serious. Ibig sabihin, alam nyo yung ginagawa ninyo. Okay, so ngayon po, ay nais ko pong i-present sa inyo. Ito po tinatawag natin na vision meeting. At, basahin nga po lahat natin. Ito pong welcome and purpose. Basahin po natin sabay-sabay. Ready? Go! Sabay-sabay. Ready? Go! The Operation Christmas Child Samaritan Purse, ito po ay isa sa pinakamalaki, pinakamatagal at na children's ministry around the world. And we have, sa ngayon po, we have more than 170 countries around the world at ito po ay nakarating po dati natin dito sa ating bansa, Pilipinas. No? OCC exists to reach children with the gospel of Jesus Christ and disciple them to become his followers and share this gospel with others. Our prayer today is that you would ask God how he might be calling you to partner with 
OCC. Now, let me start by the mission of our OCC. Now, the Operation Christmas Child is about three things. Evangelism, discipleship, and multiplication. OCC's mission has five components that indicate our values for how we implement the OCC ministry. So, basahin nga po ng mga yung kayo dalawa. Tayo at basahin yung unang ating pong isa sa ating unang component. Tayo po tayo para. Yan. Tayo, tayo, tayo. Kayo dalawa, kayo dalawa. I mean, dalawang row. Sorry. Yan. Ready? Demonstrate. Basa. Ready? Go. Okay, so marami pong salamat. Yeah. Yan po ang limang component ng mission ng Operation Christmas Child. And let me repeat that. To demonstrate God's love in a tangible way to children in need. Yan po una. Together with the local church. Kaya po napakahalaga ho ng presensya ho ninyo. At dahil sa inyo, ay magtutulungan tayo. This is our partnership between Operation Christmas Child, Samaritan Purse, and you as our potential ministry partners to share the good news of Jesus Christ to disciple children and multiply the gospel and discipleship. Now, sino sa inyo rito ang nakakilala sa Panginoon Nung bago po kayo mag-5 years old, o 5 years old pababa, pakitas mo pang kamay niyo, naligtas mo kayo, nakakilala sa Panginoon, nakapakinig ng salita ng Diyos, so salamat po, may mga nasa likod, 5 years old pababa, nakilala niyo ang Panginoon. Amen? Pangalawa, sino sa inyo rito ang nakakilala sa Panginoon, 10 years old, 6 years old naman to 10 years old, Oh, tignan niyo po at ang dami mo talagang nagtataas ang kamay and I believe sila'y tunay na naligtas pangatlo, sino na nasaved sa inyo rito nung kayo po ay 15 years old or 11 years old to 15 years old you see, tignan niyo po ulit marami rin so lumalabas mga kapit halos po kung tama ang aking estimate halos more than nakalahati ho sa atin, nakakilala nung tayo po ay bata pa. Yan ang dahilan kung bakit nakafocus ho tayo o ang Operation Christmas Child sa mga patang katulad po natin nung tayo po ay naligtas. I myself, I heard the Word of God when I was 6 years old attending the Sunday school. Okay? So, bakit po Mga bata, why children? Now, kaya naman po magbasa. Pwede pong pakitayo itong, itong mga churches na ito. Okay? Kaya yung dalawa, sabay-sabay ho natin basahin. Mark chapter 10, verse 13 to 16. Ready? Sige po, tayo, tayo po. Saan mo kayo? Sige. Yan. Good. Salamat po. Ready? Go. Salamat. Now, anybody, ang aking pagtanong ay, how important are children to Jesus? Gaano po ba kahalaga ang mga bata sa Panginoon? Anybody from you, ministry partner, just stand up and say, gaano kahalaga? 
Very important. Bakit mahalaga sa Panginoon ang kanyang ginawa? Yan. Nakita ho natin yan dito. Na ang mga bata ay nasa puso din ho ng ating pong Panginoon. Now why it is important to keep the children safe? Bakit po kaya? Good. Marami pong salamat sa sagot ng yan. Ngayon po, dito naman sa 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20, ang sabi ko ng banalang kasulatan, So we are Christ's official messengers or ambassadors. It is as if God were making His appeal through us. Here is what Christ wants us to beg you to do. Come back to God. Now, my first question, ayun po dyan sa talata pong ito na tayo daw po ay mga ambassador, official messenger ng ating pong Panginoon. Sino ho naman ang ginamit ng Panginoon sa iyo na ambassador para ikay makakilala kay Kristo? Can, we, can you give us the name? Um, Shikaina. Shikaina. Okay. So, siya ang ginamit ng Panginoon para sa kanya. Siya ang naging ambassador ng Panginoon para sa kanya. Bawat isa mo sa atin may ginamit na soul winner, may ginamit na nag-testify ng kanyang kaligtasan, may ginamit na official messenger para ho sa atin. Ngayon, as a leader, what are you doing? What are you doing to rise up ambassador for Christ in your church? Ano po ang ginagawa? O anong ministry ho na meron kayo sa church ninyo na sila ay mga nagiging ambassador ng ating Panginoon sa inyo? Discipleship. Okay? Meron pa bang ipong iba? Feeding program. So, meron na ho tayong mga existing ministry para sa mga bata. Subalit ito po Operation Christmas Child OCC Project, kung aming pong tawagin, ay nais po namin naman itong maging bahagi ng inyo pong ministry. Ngayon nais ko pong tawagin si Sister Dampos to come and share his part about shared strategy. Sister Dampos. Good afternoon, ministry partners! Good afternoon. Ayan. Ako po si Dampos Paklago, National Leadership Team Coordinator, Discipleship Coordinator na, uh, ng Operation Christmas Child. Kinagagalak po po kayong makilala lahat at makita. We are thankful to God for all of you. So, before I start, I'm going to give away to uh, the vision Uh, the Ministry Partner Brochure to all of you. Ito po ay basahin ninyo. Somebody is going to distribute this one to you for more information. You can bring this to your home so that you can read further later. So, importante po ito at pakibasa na lamang po for you to review kung ano po ang Operation Christmas Child. Okay po, dito po sa Operation Christmas Child, We, sabi nga po ng ating mission statement, ano po, sino daw po ang partner ng Operation Christmas Child? The local church. Sino po yung local church? Yes, very good. Kayo nga po yun, ang local church. And Operation Christmas Child is committed to evangelism, discipleship, and multiplication. Sabi po namin sa OCC, EDM. Kaya nga po, pag nakarinig nyo yung EDM, yan po ay evangelism, discipleship, and multiplication. Yan po ang aming strategy in order for the kingdom of God to be spread like a wildfire. In OCC, minist in OCC ministry partners, 
are, are local churches and Christian ministries who present the gospel at an OCC outreach event and teach children to follow Jesus Christ through the greatest journey. Yan po ang aming on our, we are seeing uh, on our uh, a slide of uh, the materials that OCC offers to our ministry partners. Ano daw po ang ministry partner? Ministry partners ay ang mga lokal na kasimbahanan o kristahanong mga pagpapangalagat nga nagapresentar sa maayong balita diha sa outreach event sa Operation Christmas Child. Sila nagatugtog sa mga bata aron sundon si Jesus pinaagi sa ang pinakamaayong biyahe nga programa sa pagdisipulo. Yan po ang meaning o definition ng ministry partner. Ngayon, kayo po yan. Okay, so for our shared strategy, meron po tayong tinatawag na unang step ay vision meeting. Sa vision meeting po, ay mag after na mission meeting, kayo po ay kung meron po kayong commitment to partner with Operation Christmas Child, ay bibigyan po kayo ng application so that there will be selection and invitation later. Yan po. Because OCC seeks to partner with ministry partners who have the same heart and vision for children. And each year, we have a vision meeting like this one. Ang tawag po dito ay vision meeting. Lahat po ng ministry partners dito po sa community ay aming iniimbitahan para po malaman ang aming OCC vision. At the close of today's vision meeting, you will receive an application to apply to partner with OCC. Our volunteer team reviews each application and selects ministry partners based on alignment to EDM. Ano nga po yung EDM? Okay, very good. Next po ay ministry training. Pagka po na-select na ang ating mga potential or possible ministry partners, kayo naman po ay imbitahan namin sa isang training. Ang tawag po namin dito ay integrated ministry training. Wherein selected ministry partners send designated members of a ministry partner team to attend an OCC ministry training that prepares them to mobilize prayer, safely host an outreach event, present the gospel, and disciple children through the greatest journey. Sino po ang a-attend sa ating ministry training? Selected ministry partners. Sila po ay yung nag-comply sa ating requirements para po maging local partner ng OCC. Sa ministry training po, we are inviting our ministry partners to send three representatives ng inyo pong church. Dalawa pong teachers at saka isang ministry partner team leader. Ano nga po yung aming ini-invite? na-attend sa ministry training? Ministry, partner, team, leader. Sila po ang magiging uh, vessel para po madala ang OCC sa inyong mga churches. Number three po, we will have a planning and pickup. Magpaplano po ang uh, ang mga Ministry partners, together with OCC, pag kayo po ay nag-train na kayo, ibibigay na po sa inyo ang mga gift boxes na ito. So, we encourage ministry partners or churches to request for 100 gift boxes in order to distribute to 100 children. Ayan po, 100 gift boxes po ang allowed na i-request ng bawat ministry partners na ito. At ito po ay pipick up ninyo sa aming warehouse. Okay po, ang coordination po ay between our church mobilization coordinator na si Pastor Francis and our logistics. Ayan po. 
And then, ang susunod po, after the ministry training, magpa-plan na po kayong mga ministry partners ng outreach event. Ano po ba yung outreach event? Ang outreach event naman ay isang event wherein volunteers of local churches, families, and children from multiple countries around the world pack, donate, and pray over gift boxes. And each gift box is a tangible expression of God's love as well as a gospel opportunity. Alam niyo po ba itong gift box na ito? Ito po ang magiging vessel para yung mga bata ay makarinig ng gospel through a gospel presenter which was trained during the ministry training. Ito po ay tangible gift that represents the love of God. So we are going to use this during our outreach event. Each child receives a gift box and a copy of the greatest gift booklet, which contains the same child-friendly gospel presentation using the Bible stories and illustrations. Next po after ng outreach event, sabi nga po sa OCC principle, we do not only distribute gift box. We offer discipleship. Ano nga po uli yung ating tatlong goals? E for D for and M for multiplication. Very good ministry partners. So we go to we go now to the greatest journey discipleship class. What we offer and provide you as our ministry partners the greatest journey resources. Ano-ano po ba itong greatest journey resources na ito? Ah, the greatest journey is a 12 lesson. Nandito po yan sa ministry guide. And this ministry guide is given to you three copies each para po sa ating bawat ministry partner two teachers, di po ba, at isang ministry partner, team leader. So, three copies po per ministry partner ang makakatanggap nito during the ministry training. And this one is the teachers are going to use to teach the children about discipleship. Ayan po, 12 lessons po ang laman nitong ministry guide na ito na may lahat po ay ma, lahat ng bata ay matututo ng to know the gospel, to grow in the gospel, and to share the gospel. Yan po ang aim or goal ng ating TUJ, The Greatest Journey Discipleship Class. And then, we will have also the TUJ Student Book. Meron din pong ibibigay sa bawat estudyante ng The Greatest Journey ng book, uh, ng uh, student's book na ito. Katulad po ng ministry guide na merong teacher's guide, meron din po ang student's booklet ng mga colorful pictures wherein they will learn about the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ayan po. And then, sa isa rin pong ano ng The Greatest Journey Discipleship Materials ay ang pagkakaroon ng New Testament Bible. Ang New Testament Bible po ay ibinibigay sa graduation. Ang aim po ng Operation Christmas Child is to have the children experience the box to the Bible. From the box outreach event, then we'll end the TGJ with graduation. And sa graduation po, pinapamigay ang Bible together with the certificate of graduation. Isn't it a good and fun experience for the children? What do you think? Yes, okay po yan. And then naman po, susunod ay celebration and report. Akala nyo ba ang OCC binibigay lang po ang mga ito sa inyo? May kapalit po. <laughs> ang kapalit po niyan ay report, report, report. For OCC, reporting is worship. And it is very important for us that we get your reports. Ano po yung mga reports na yan? Uh, uh, mamaya po, i-discuss po yan ni Pastor Francis. 
kung ano po ang mga reports na dapat namin kunin sa inyo at dapat nam ninyong isubmit sa amin. Yan po. Um, we also have resource statements. Sa OCC, we entrust gift boxes and all materials free of charge. Wala po kayo, wala po kami hihingin sa inyo. Pag may nanghingi po sa inyo na isang tao na sinasabing taga-OCC siya at nanghingi ng cash, kapalit ng mga gift boxes at ng mga materials, hindi po siya kasamahan namin. Because we do not accept anything from you. We do not accept any payment. This is for free, free of charge to all our ministry partners. We ask that ministry partners agree with the following statements. Ito po, agreement lang po namin with you. And if you wanted to commit to this, uh, to the following requirements from OCC, then we can partner with you. Okay po, number one is, no child, family, or church be asked to pay to receive gift boxes or discipleship materials. Wala pong kapalit na cash or gifts ito. You cannot use our gift boxes to exchange for any cash or anything that would benefit the receiver. And then ministry partners, number two, ministry partners donate space and services, gift in kind. Ano po ba ang word na partner? Ibig sabihin po noon, you par we partner with you ministry partners because you can be a part of this ministry. Hindi lamang po kami ang bibigay. We wanted you to share something for the ministry. Ano po yung pwedeng, ano, kasi hindi pwede ang cash. Pwede pong space. Ang tawag po namin dyan ay gift in kind. Gifts in kind. So, ano po yun? Pwede pong libreng warehouse. Baka naman po may space sa inyong church where if we can house or store our gift boxes, then please let us know and you can partner with us. Ano pa po? Pwede pong services. Baka naman po pwedeng maraming volunteers from your church para po sa distribution natin, we can ask them to help us give away our gift boxes. Ayan. Pwede rin pong yung mga volunteers niyo pag sinend nyo na sa warehouse, samahan nyo na rin po ng baon, pagkain. Ayan po. Para po naman hindi magutom ang inyong mga volunteers. Uh, alam naman po namin, inaalagaan yung mabuti ang inyong mga volunteers sa church. Pangalawa, ay pangatlo, boxes and literature must be a free gift to children. Never sell, never barter, or exchange materials for any purpose. So yun lamang po ang hinihingi namin sa inyo. The, uh, the, all these materials will be given to you free of charge. Meron po ba kayong mga katanungan? Nakatulog na po yata tayo. Open your eyes! <laughs> okay? So, uh, uh, kailangan lang po natin matandaan. We always have to remember that OCC ministry is a partnership with the local church. And Christian ministries for evangelism. Hindi lamang po church. Pwede rin po mga ministries or Christian organizations who has the vision to serve or to minister to the children. And we always, number two na dapat natin tandaan, we wanted to do evangelism, discipleship, and multiplication. And uh, we, your, everyone in this partnership is, a commi is committed to protecting and safeguarding children. Sa OCC po, it is important for us to protect the children while they are in our TGJ classes or outreach events. Meron po ba kayong mga tanong? I guess wala na po. So I'm going to call uh, uh, Pastor Francis to continue our vision meeting presentation. Maraming salamat po. Salamat po, Ate Dampos. Cut! Mamaya pong alas tres. Ano sabi ko? Mamaya ang alas tres. 
Be around 3 o'clock, magkakaroon po ng fire drill. Okay? Huwag ho kay tayong sumama sa kanila. Okay? Ah, kasi may fire drill. Sa Maynila, pag may fire drill, pag nandun ka ho sa building, lalabas kayo lahat sa lahat na buildings. Eh, sa bawat sala tabi sa building so. So mamaya po may tutunog pong alarma. At uh, uh, caution lang, wag ko kayo lumabas. Dahil hindi pa sabihin niyo, hindi pa tapos ang vision meeting. Yan. Okay? Sa so, balik tayo mga kapatid. Now, thank you si Sir Dampons. Palagi mong ganoon ha, pagkatapos magsalita. So, salamat po Sir Francis. Thank you si Sir Dampons. Okay? Now, Next topic ko natin ay what? Children. Okay? Now, in your area, where do the children in greatest need to hear the gospel live? In the life, live. Okay? Saan po sila nakatira sa area po ninyo? Okay? So, asan ho sila sa inyo, mga kapatid? Yan po ang pag-isipan ho natin. Being part, partner of the Operation Christmas Child Program. Pangalawa, who are the hard to reach or unrich people groups in your area? Okay? Are you processing it? Are you having now the vision? Yes. Next, what marginalized groups of people exist in your area? Where are the orphans? The children with disabilities? Etc. Etc. Okay? Now, the impact of multiplication. In Romans chapter 10, verse 13 to 15, the Bible says, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How can they call on Him unless they believe in Him? How can they believe in Him unless they hear about Him? And how can they hear about Him unless someone preaches to them? And how can anyone preach without being sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring the gospel, the good news. So mga kapatid, I believe that our encounter today is not an accident. You are here, you are here to be part of this great ministry for the children. And we would like you to be partner of it. Kaya nga lang po, I, after you have filled up the application form, bibigyan po namin ka application form mga kapatid, hindi po automatic na natapos niyo po itong vision meeting, ay sure na ho kayo. Ano po? Sa pagiging partnership po natin. Now, I'll talk about that later on. But now, let me go to the next topic. Celebrate the previous season. Ito po yung nangyari nung nakaraang taon sa Operation Christmas Child dito po sa Pilipinas. At nais din po namin na maging kabahagi ho kayo ngayon pong taong ito. This season. Last season. How many gift boxes were distributed? 513,333 sa buong Pilipinas. Amen? How many outreach events were hosted. Meron pong, nag, pag sinabi pong outreach event, it's just like an evangelistic for children. Sabihin nyo nga po, outreach event. Outreach event. Dahil tuturuan po namin kayo kung paano po gagawin ang outreach event or evangelism for children. Now, sa buong Pilipinas po, nung nakaraang taon, meron pong 8,897 outreach event. Okay? Now, noong pong nagkaroon ng evangelism para sa mga bata, ilan mga bata 
ang nakakilala sa Panginoon. Sige nga po, sabay-sabay ho natin basahin. Ready? Go! Two And we would like you to become part of that this season. Amen? Sabay-sabay ho tayo sa buong Pilipinas na kayo po ay makasama namin na mag-akay ng mga bata sa Panginoon. Children who committed to pray and to share. Ang Operation Christmas Child po ay meron pong portion doon sa aming pong 12 lesson that they are the children will share and pray for their kapwa bata. Isn't it? Bata pa ho sila, tinuturuan na ho natin sila magkaroon ng puso misyonaryo. At ito po ang mga batang ito, ang bilang. Ito po ang bilang. Ilan nga po sila? Basahin nga po natin ng sabay-sabay. Ready? Go! One hundred and eighty-nine thousand one hundred forty-five. Saan po galing ang mga bilang na ito? Where does this number came from? Galing po yan sa inyo. Amen? Galing po yan sa inyo. And we would like that also to come from you, from the churches around the Philippines. Now, sabi po rito, ilan ang mga partner churches natin, o namin, ang Operation Christmas Child, ang kasama namin na nanalangin para sa Operation Christmas Child. Ilan? Ready? Go! 88,750 prayer partners praying for the OCC. Okay? Alam niyo po, katulad sinabi kanina, after the 12 lessons, meron din po graduation ang mga bata. Kaya nga po, celebration. Ano ho? At meron silang sinabi, may Bible sila, bibigyan din sila ng certificate, at lahat po ito ay libre. Ilan ang mga bata ang nag-graduate? Last year, sa buong Pilipinas, ilan? Ready? Go! Yeah. And lastly, mga kapatid, at ito ang hinahanap po namin ngayon. Ano po? Ngayon pong taong ito, nakafocus ang Operation Christmas Child sa tinatawag po natin, UPG. Anong ibig pong sabihin kaya ng UPG? Unrich People Groups. Last year, mga kapatid, we have engaged, churches like you, have engaged to 82 Unrich People Group. Amen? Ngayon po, we would like to go beyond that and we would like you to partner with us to look for this Unrich People Group. So, isn't it? We should celebrate to the Lord for these things. Amen? Oh, patapat naman dyan. Now, nais po natin na kayo rin ay maging bahagi po nito. Ang gawain po ninyo. Now, next step. Ano ang gagawin namin? Natin. Alos tapos na po ang vision meeting pong ito. Anong sunod? Ang sunod po nito, bibigyan ko kayo dyan, maya-maya, nito pong ating pong uh, application form. Okay? At una, pag kayo po ay natanggap namin, you will going to build your ministry team. Pag uwi ho ninyo, at natanggap po kayo, kayo po ay hahanap din na ministry team leader. Sino itong ministry team leader? Siya po ang leader po ng church ninyo. Pwede po yan si pastor, or pwede po yan si superintendent ng Sunday school po ninyo, or sino po sa inyo na magiging contact po namin. Siya ang magiging 
Ang tatawagan ho namin, kokontakin ho namin, siya po ang contact person po ninyo sa amin. And we can have communication with each other. Ang tawag po namin sa kanya ay ministry team leader po ninyo. Pwede ho kayo niyan, Pastor, kung hindi ho kayo masyadong busy. Pangalawa, maghanap na ho kayo ng mga teachers po ninyo at mga volunteers. Kailangan po natin o namin sa inyo na mga lima. Mga lima, at least lima. Sa limang ito, pwede naman anim, pwede pito, pwede walo, pwede siyam, pwede sampo. Depende sa inyo kung marami ko kayong teachers. Pero sa limang ito, yung tatlo po, pag kayo po'y nakapasa sa application po ninyong ito, itong tatlong ito ay papupuntahin po namin doon sa aming tinatawag na Integrated Ministry Training. Okay? Ilan pa ang papupuntahin po ninyo? Tatlo. Okay? Now, anong sunod? MP, Ministry Partner Selection Process. Ito naman ang gagawin namin. After po ninyo na ito ay ma-fill up, kukunin ho namin ito, pagkatapos titingnan ho namin, at kami ho ang mag-approve kung kayo po ay approve o hindi. Na hindi po kung hindi ho kayo approve, baka po kasi hindi niyo nabigay ang inyong mga requirements. Dahil ito po ang aming requirements. Simula ngayon, we will give you one week to submit this requirement. After this vision meeting, you have to give us the application form fully filled up. But, pwede nyo na pong i-fill up ito ngayon. At bago po kayo umuwi, ibigay nyo na ito sa amin. Okay? So, pangalawa, we need your statement of faith. Pangatlo, we need the list of teachers with their names, age, contact numbers, home address, dapat po 16 years old, pataas. Okay? Pangapat, kailangan po namin ng SEC registration certificate. Pwede pong photocopy. Or, kung wala po kayong SEC registration certificate, ay certification po or endorsement ng inyo pong ministerial or denominational head. Okay? Or ng mother church po ninyo. Na magpapatunay ho na hindi ho kayo putok sa buho. Ah, yun po, di ho. Seryoso po kami. <coughs> Kung walang-wala ho kayo niyan na sinasabi ko, barangay permit. Barangay permit. Kasi kung church kayo at nasa barangay kayo, aaprobahan ni Kapitan. Ay, opo, Pastor. May church po talaga yan dito sa barangay namin. Amen? Malinaw po ba? Pastor, wala po akong statement of faith. Ay, hindi ko pwede yun. Dapat may statement of faith ka. No? Okay. And, of course, kailangan po namin yung ministry team leaders po ninyo. Yung pong leader ha. Yun lang leader na yun at yung contact number. And last but not the least and very important to partner with us, please give us 12 of your members who would partner with us in prayer. Malino po ba? Amen? Would you like to partner with us? Amen. So, ito po yung application form. At sa ating pong mga kas kasama ko po sa team, you can distribute that sa ating pong mga ministry partners ngayon. Okay? Pwede nyo na pong i-distribute yan. And, sige po, bibigay nyo na po yan. Pero, yan, yan may nagbibigay na po. Totoo po. Yan, totoo na yan. May nagbibigay po yan. Yan. Ah, tingnan nyo. May nagbibigay po. Tanggapin nyo yan. Ha? Mga IFR yan. Okay? Yun pong application form. Bago na ho ang ating application form. Kaya, <clears throat> kayo, bago na. 
Ito po naman ang sample ng ating SEC Registration Certificate. Ito naman po ang sample ng ating Statement of Faith. Okay? And list of teachers, isasabit po ninyo yan. Good? Okay, so tayo pong lahat tumayo. Let's pray. Sa ating pagtatapos. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this vision meeting, Lord. We pray for the children and their families that God would draw them to himself, Lord, through these ministry partners. And we pray for the churches and volunteers that God would guide them and use them as they proclaim the gospel. And during their distribution event, on their outreach event, Lord, please, O oh Father, that we will do this for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may take your seat. Marami pong salamat. At papadala po ninyo, ang sabi ko po, fill po ninyo yan. Ito ngayon. You may take your seat po. Pilapan nyo nyo po yan ngayon. Ito pong application form. At wag po kayo umuwi na hindi nyo po ito ipabalik sa amin. At yung pong mga application forms o requirements, ipadala nyo po kay Pastor Francis Arday. Ako po yun. Okay? And deadline po ng submission ay yan po. So, good? So, tayo pong lahat tumayo. Uli. Tayo po tayong lahat uli. Tayo. Tayo. Tayo lahat. Tayo. Okay? Ikot. Ikot. Isa. Dalawa. Tatlo. Magandang hapon, volunteers, OCC. So, salamat po. Yan po ang ating vision meeting. So, okay. Iba na ho ang ating application form. Ipapadala rin po natin ang ating application form. Now, I think, uh, uh, I think, Pastor Jim, tuturuan tayo ni Pastor Jim kung papaano po ito gagamitin. Okay? Kaya po kayo binigyan yan. Application form. Uy! Uy! Huwag niyo sulatan to, ha? <laughs> Kunyari lang yung kanina. Huwag niyo sulatan. Mag-a-apply kayo. Wala akong shoe boxes. <laughs> Okay po. Thank you Pastor Francis and Sister Dampos po. Walang pakpak ang dyan. Okay.